why did we develop the Consolab EV601 iDev training car? And what is an iDev? An iDev is an interactive demonstrative electric vehicle. That leads to the next question. What is its purpose? Well, when Consolab set out to develop a complete line of EV products, we enlisted the help of hundreds of instructors like you through surveys and focus group calls. And together, we identified over a dozen innovative product ideas, solutions for teaching EVs. We then delved into the challenges that you and your institutions are faced with, and we looked at where to begin. The greatest needs we identified were in the areas of instructor training, program outlines, occupational standards, student worksheets, exercises, student evaluations, and certifications. The greatest challenges that you faced were access to instructor training, program funding, space, inexperienced students entering your program, time available in your programs, direct teacher experience with hybrids and EVs, concerns with student safety, and access to hybrid and electric vehicles. We then looked at how we could help provide an innovative solution to these needs and challenges, and it became clear that an individual system trainer would not suffice. While we have numerous EV systems trainers in development, the needs of instructor training, program guidelines, access to vehicles, student worksheets, and the need to teach the fundamentals in a safe, secure environment led us to developing the EV601 iDev training car. The solution, we wanted to cover the entire program needs at a fundamental level. We needed to talk about and demonstrate every single nut and bolt, every feature and function and component of an EV, and that meant we knew we needed a car. But what car? And what would it look like? We took the most popular EV available in our markets, the Tesla Model 3, and we've turned it into a training car. To meet your safety challenges and needs, we've eliminated all 400 volt high voltage systems. There is no 400 volts present and thus no inherent danger. The battery case has been completely emptied. There are no lithium cells present. This allows us to let students freely explore the vehicle knowing they are safe. Let's start under hood, where numerous thermodynamic systems, brake systems, steering systems, 12 volt systems and ECUs live. We removed the hood and all the panels and made every important component visible and accessible. In the back, to see the motor, BMS, onboard charger, cooling systems, contactors, fuses, and battery controls, we removed the rear doors, did cutaways in the body and floor, removed the seats, and then we integrated lighting and protective transparent covers to allow large groups of students to see where the magic happens. The motor and numerous components are cut away showing their internal functions. Since often there are so many students around and inside of the car, we removed the glass and the roof, allowing better visibility of all components and facilitating instructor-student communication. We've meticulously identified each and every EV system component, and we've written explanations, student worksheets, and exercises for every single one. We've kept every single 12 volt system fully functional. This means that you have a complete functional car with electric assist power steering, with ADAS, body electrical, multiplexing, accessory systems, lighting, and a complete Model 3 touchscreen interface to interact with and teach with. The Tesla service mode is functional, where you can gain access to technician level data and controls that a normal consumer wouldn't touch. Now keep in mind that while all 12 volt systems function, car does not actually run and drive. It can't be driven, it must be pushed. To increase student engagement, you can still access the fart mode and play all the games when the teacher isn't looking. This is great for recruitment and open house events. You can also engage the celebration mode if you're looking for even more attention. We've added an OBD2 data link connector and a suggested mobile application where you can see data PIDs for the last battery information prior to removal. And now, and this is probably the most important part, in the development process, we started to really dream, what would we want to do? We asked ourselves, what would it be like to take a full class of students on a road test? What would we talk about? What would we teach? When we dreamed up all the drive modes, special function scenarios and examples of what we would love to teach with an EV, but that we couldn't, even in the best school with the best equipment and a full fleet of EVs at their disposal. We determined that we wanted to show things like power flow, regenerative braking, DC fast charging, battery state of charge, three phase motor function, and that we wanted to demonstrate how this affects how all the systems function. 
and we wanted large groups of students to be able to experience this live dynamically without having to drive down the road. We then mapped out all the systems on a typical EV and then walked through how they all interrelate. This led our engineering team to create an entire additional system for the iDev. It's the Consolab Electric Vehicle Operation Simulator. It consists of a touchscreen tablet with EV Operation Simulator where you can control power modes, drive modes, select charging types, change the battery state of charge, request cabin HVAC heat or cooling, and select the battery temperature. Using our knowledge of the system functions, we then demonstrate live using eight digital displays showing voltages and currents and a myriad LED strips to show power flow and coolant flow during each of these modes. This all happens dynamically based on the user inputs. For example, let me show you what happens when the battery is hot and you plug into DC fast charging. Here the vehicle is off in park. The battery temperature is hot. The battery state of charge is 54%. So when I plug in the DC fast charger, we're going to see the charger voltage is 400 volts and the amperage is 100 amps. We can see the power flow through the orange cables down into the penthouse. We can see the positive and negative contactors are engaged as well as the DC fast charge contactors. The DC to DC converter is engaged. The AC compressor is on, as well as the coolant pump. This means that we are using the air conditioning through component number eight, the chiller, to cool the coolant that is circulating through the battery to bring the temperature down and allow it to accept the charge. This is something you'd never be able to demonstrate without an IDEV. For teaching the high voltage interlock loop and for the first responder training, we've added connectors to the first responders loop and can see their live status on the display. For isolation testing of high voltage cabling and components, we've routed both the PTC and AC compressor harnesses to facilitate testing and access. To address the needs of program outlines, we developed our own occupational standard. We created instructor training sessions. We have over 50 student worksheets and exercises, written theory explanations, and we provide suggested program guidelines labs, suggested personal protective equipment and tooling, suggested certifications, and all of this wrapped up in the Consolab EV601 iDev training car. We are convinced that this combination of complete car, demonstrating all components in an interactive, safe, accessible way, combined with the provided package, is a complete solution to your program's needs. To find out more about our products, visit Consolab.com. Thanks for watching.